queen. Um, now, uh, you've done a lot of red carpet stuff. Like you said, like your season is red carpet season. Who's been the best and the worst on the red carpet? The best? Um, I would have to say I was over at the Brits in London, and I talked to, was it, oh my God, I don't remember who it was. Who? It was one of the spices. Oh, Posh? No. Baby? No, Ginger, maybe? Ginger? Uh, she was moon, lovely. Moon moon spice. <laughs> it was redhead. All, spice, all spices actually went over there. Was redhead. <laughs> oh, J Jerry Hallwell, ginger spice. I think it was her. Yeah. She was just so personable and fun. I had to do this like goofy segment where I had them trying biscuits. Uh -huh. And they were teaching me like how to be British. And she just talked to me for like the longest time. And I had the first station and behind me was... I think it was uh, radio something, like one of the UK's biggest radio stations. Oh, right, BBC Waters. And so some people that. would go and they'd see me and they're like, who the fuck is that? And then like, keep going <laughs> to like the actual like established station. And she was just so nice and she like took time. Her publicist was trying to like shoo her on and she just like gave complete attention. And that was Give really me cool. a biscuit, let's go, yeah, Kingsley! Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. And what, who was anyone throwing you some major... Well, even I have problems sometimes. <laughs> um, Aluna George. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was my fault. Because what did, why? What did you do? I was just being like, I was talking. I didn't know of her as a songwriter. Uh -huh. I knew her from songs on DJ tracks. Right. And I was just asking her. I was like, in the moment, I'm like, when you choose to collaborate with a DJ, like, what is it about? them that like draws you to their song is it the lyrics is it like this that and she like cut me off she's like i write my own music and i was like Ooh. holy shit like that wasn't my intention i wasn't <laughs> implying that she didn't write i was just like getting out a general question and i was like shook for the rest of the time oh no and i kind of cut it off after like 45 seconds she was like glaring at me and i felt so bad because i know people get super sensitive about that stuff but it's mm. just like i wasn't trying to say you don't write girl Oh boy, people asking. can be very sensitive on red carpets. I was doing mm -hmm. some Outfest events and I said, these three handsome women with gorgeous haircuts to a bunch of lesbian filmmakers, and oh honey, they were ready to go. <laughs> they were ready to kill. It's <laughs> stressful, it seems, yeah. for them to like get ready and like answer questions over and over and over and over. Yeah, that's so, a big line to go down. Yeah. Now, how do you like that environment of being on the red carpet and kind of having to be like, over here, over here, you know what I mean? Like, because even even when you're an established person, mm -hmm. they're all there lined up, True. desperate for those moments. It was it was intimidating at first, um, mainly because I was worried how people would take me. I didn't like I never know who has seen my videos and who hasn't. Right. And I talk like if I don't like a song, I'll say I don't like a song. I don't want people to think like I'm an evil person, but it's like it's just the honesty that... And that's, what, that's my, what you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was, like, scared at first. I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't like their last single. Are they even going to, like, stop you? Like, it was just, like, a lot of neurotic stuff. Right. But um, the environment itself is fun. Like, once I've gotten over that and just see it as, like, you're working, they want to promote their stuff, this isn't really the moment where you're going to be, like, in their face, like, your song was shitty. Like, this is, like, a different <laughs> yeah. environment. So when I grew into that, it, it's fun. And it's great to see everyone as a fan, just like there in the flesh, all done up, talking about their projects. And then I'd always get to work with other people. Like for the VMAs, I was stationed with Joanne the Scammer. Oh my God! <laughs> so that was funny because we'd both like freak out in between people and then I'd see her working and he'd see me and it was just, it's, it's fun. Joanne the Scammer, honey. I know. There's nothing better than that. Nothing. Oh, I was I dying. Love Joanne the Scammer. I was dying, dying. Or did you guys get to sneak off and do some video where you stole furs or minks from someone? No, then, I <laughs> wish. I want to do something with her so bad. Oh, my so God. So did you see the Attitude cover? Oh, yes, I did. Living. <laughs> Living. So best. good. She's mm. like my favorite internet meme personality anything to come out of like the last. Yeah, the creation of it mm -hmm. is so amazing because it was just those... <laughs> little things with, yeah, with the, the lip cover, <laughs> and, like, yeah, the phone calls. I mean, yes, like, that's good. It's so funny. Oh, I love it. Hey, queen.